Hey everyone, it's October 9th, I think, Thanksgiving. Um, and I notice there's like steady uh, people watching my um, evergreen propagation in winter video and some of the other ones where I did cuttings. So I thought I'd give a little update. <laughs> the dwarf Hinoki cypress seeds that I started. So those, they actually sprouted. And here they are now. They're just tiny. So that's all summer. And then I did some uh, conifers. I had five, but when I transplanted them into these pots, um, some of them died. So I've got two. They're doing really good though. Uh, if any of you know, should I leave these outside for the winter or bring them in the house, bring them in the garage? I don't know. I just don't want them to die, but I don't know. Like, they're so small. Can they survive the winter that big? I don't know. So here, I don't think I filmed these ones, but here's some more cedar cuttings I took. These were uh, last year in the fall. And it looks like... They have definitely taken root. Yeah, you can see all the roots. If I can focus, there they are. Definitely with cedars, it seems like where they touch the soil is where the roots come out more than even below the soil. But anyway, these are actually pretty dry. I should water them. And then these were you that I also took at the same time roughly and that's from this plant behind me they kind of grow like sideways anyway those are ones I didn't film so bonus and I was just using rough sand and water and they were in partial shade they get like a little bit of morning sun all year but it's mostly partial shade so here are the ones that I did before. So I made that video of my cedar tree that out front that broke in a windstorm. This is what survived. So all these ones, um, all the ones that are green are rooted. And then I did another video where I did red twig dogwood here, I think it's called. And then I did a uh, hardy kiwi. So as you can see, the kiwi actually worked really well. The dogwood, every single one of them died. And then I also have some sky pencil holly that survived, which is good because my only plant is now dying. And then I don't know if I videoed this one either, but these are all, I believe, green mountain boxwoods I cut last fall, and they are all rooted. Like, here, let's show you right there. You can see the roots coming out the side and going into the soil. And then this guy is a gold something cedar. I forget which. I'll show you the stock plant out front in a second. But yeah, it's funny. So these are on the north side of the house, very protected. I don't even think they get any full sun, any direct sun. And they're at a corner of the house that when we get a lot of rain, these actually like fill up completely and overflow. Um, but they have really good drainage. So I don't know, they get swamped. And then most of the plants seem to do good in it. And here is the stock plant of that cedar. I need to clean it up a bit for fall so it gets more air inside. It is a golden emerald cedar. That's what that is. And then I'll show you my sky pencil holly, which thank God I finally got some cuttings to root because it is dying. It is this guy. There is some green growth. Oh, and there's even, it's flowering right now. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, there's like whole sections of it dying off. 
I'll try and baby it and see how it goes. Um, I had like a white pillowcase wrapped around it. That's what the guy at the garden center told me to do in winter because this is south facing, so it would in the winter dry out the uh, roots. Uh, and that seemed to help because now that it is gone, it seems to be drying out. Anyway, that's my update.